here we have the Einscan HX. It is basically the big brother of the Einstar. And we are going to scan this exact same truck that we scanned in the previous video and see how it performs. We're going to do the same test. We're going to start out with a normal texture scan about the assistance of any markers and we're going to see how it goes. We're starting to pick up some data and we are losing tracking. Let's move back to a previous location and try to go the other direction and we're losing tracking again. Very similar to the experience we had with the Einstar at the start. We are going to switch to the hybrid alignment mode where we use the texture as well as the markers. And right off the bat, we're starting to pick up some good data and we are not losing tracking. And you can see it's picking up some of the markers there in the background. Unlike the Einstar, you can see the flash of the camera from the Einscan HX. For scanning for a little while, I realized that I had the brightness of the scanner set way too high. And as soon as we lower it, you'll see how this starts to pick up the markers a lot better. And we will start gathering way better data. One thing you can definitely see is the field of view of the Einscan HX is smaller than the Einstar. So you have to be careful to keep those markers in your view at all times. Here is our first completed scan. And as you can see, we got some really good data from it. We're going to go ahead and remove the plane and do a couple of more scans before aligning. For the next scan, we are going to turn the truck upside down and scan the bottom. And we are picking up some great data since we lowered the brightness over there. Here are the results of our second scan. Here you can see the specifications of the laptop that we're using. It is an i7 with 64 gigs of RAM and it has an RTX 3070. With the Einstar, we did multiple scans. With the Einscan HX, we are just going to do two scans and see if we can get away with that. There's some meshing. You can see here is the completed model. We're just going to go ahead and remove that block that it's sitting on. Here are the results. With the Einscan, we only did two scans. With the Einstar, I believe it was six or seven scans that we had to do to get similar results. You can see that with the HX, there is a little bit more detail in this rapid scan mode, especially on the grill and inside the windows. You can see it actually built those in, got some texture there. We are going to go ahead and use the blue laser mode of the Einscan HX now. This is really where this scanner shines and has extreme accuracy using it. Here you can see as soon as we start scanning, it starts to pick up texture it does not record any color in this mode but it has no problem recording those black wheels for the fine detail next we are going to take the truck and stand it on its wheels so we can continue scanning next we are going to align the two scans and again, we're just going to do two scans for us with the Einstar. We did six or seven scans, similar results. The software, once again, has absolutely no problem automatically aligning the two meshes. Next, we are going to create the final mesh. We are just uh, removing all the unnecessary parts. Here are the final results. As you can see, there is a lot more detail. You can see the thread on the wheels. You can see all the nuts and bolts and you can even see the windings on the steel cable on the back of the truck there where the hook attaches. There are some spots where we did miss. You can see in between the wheels there. There are some anomalies there. With some more scanning, we could really get rid of those. But taking into consideration, we only spent about one, maybe two minutes scanning each side. This is pretty decent results. Here we have imported both meshes into Prusa Slicer just for a quick comparison. The one on the right is from the Einstar. In the previous video, the one on the left is with the Einscan HX. By the way, here is a link on screen to the Einstar unboxing and initial setup, and which includes the scan you see on the right there. But for a conclusion, as you can see, the Einscan HX definitely has 
a lot more detail and all in all way quicker to scan considering we only did two scans versus the six or seven for the einstar thank you for watching and see you on the next video